Hey guys, Gator Mom here. I'm doing a review for you this afternoon on the 31 True Beauty bag. And this is a Hostess exclusive item through 31, which means that you have to actually host a party through 31 to be eligible to purchase this item. It retails for $25 and I had posted a picture on Instagram and Facebook and a lot of you had commented, wanted to see kind of um, the inside of it and how I have it packed up. So I decided to do a quick video for you guys. This here, like I said, is the True Beauty Bag and it comes in three different colors. This is the Paisley Day color, which is my absolute favorite print out of 31 for the fall. It's so pretty. It has these like specks of lime green and the navy base and the teal. I mean, it's just, it's really, really pretty print. And it also comes in a black and white chevron, which is adorable. And it comes in a um, purple, like plum type color also. So like I said, this is a cosmetic bag. So it's to be used for your makeup or toiletries or traveling. I'm using mine for my Erin Condren planner supplies. It's perfect for that. I have a lot of videos on different ways that I organize my planner supplies and this just tops them all. It's, it's a really, really great bag for that. So the set comes with these two different bags here. This one here, I don't have anything packed in it right now. Um, I was putting some pens and some scissors and whatnot in here, but it just bulked up the inside of the bag. So I decided not to use it, but I did want to show you guys um, the bag really quickly because it comes in the set. So it has a magnetic closure here and then you open it up and then there's a mirror here at the top. And then there's these two little zipper pockets. There's, um, when you open it up, there's these little kind of um, makeup brush holders and then there's a clear pouch here and then there's another pouch back here. So it's a, it's a cute little makeup bag for sure, which I'll probably actually end up using it for that. Then on the actual beauty bag itself, there's the only outside pockets um, on the bag is this clear kind of vinyl pouch here in the front. There's nothing on the back of the bag or the sides of the bag. So I'll just kind of rotate it and show you the actual bag. This is the front and this is the side of the bag. The back of the bag is so pretty, you guys. I can't say enough about this pattern. I am in love with it. I'm actually ordering a couple other bags in this print because it's so super cute. The other side, which is exactly the same. And then again, back on the front of the bag. So getting right into the bag to show you guys how I have it packed up for my planner. In this little vinyl part here, I just have a couple odds and ends, things that I don't, didn't really have a place for, but I wanted to be able to grab if I needed. Um, let me also, sorry, um, start off by saying that the only thing not packed in here are my stickers. I have quite an extensive sticker collection. I do have an extra couple um, like notepads and some note cards, so those aren't in here. But besides that, I mean, all my planner stuff fits right in here. So a um, couple little paper clips here. I love these for my planner. These just have a little kind of a lace tie at the top. So I have those in there. I have a um, package of the coil clips that come or that you can order from Erin Condren. I just have two or three left in that pack. And I have um, an extra snap in ruler down here, kind of bookmark. And then I have a couple of these um, paper clips that I use to paper clip odds and ends together, like my stickers and notepads, and I use them in my um, planner as well. This is just a leftover pack. Um, I order the monthly sets from Pink Elephant Planning. They're phenomenal, you guys, they're, they're great. So this is what I just had left over from October. And then I have the um, little gift tags that come with your Erin Condren just here in the front so that I can grab them whenever I need them for anything. And that's everything kind of in that front pocket. Just a couple more kind of paper clips hanging out down in here. Okay, on to the inside of the bag. At the top of the bag, I'll kind of fold this down. There's this little kind of skinny zipper part, and then there's the big open part of the bag. I'm going to go ahead and show you, actually, I'll start with the little zipper part. This is kind of a long um, zipper. It goes the full length and width of the bag. And in here, I keep my actual planner. My Erin Condren fits perfectly in there. It's so awesome, you guys, for traveling. I can just bring this bag, and it's just, it's great. I just can't say enough about it. So... This is my Erin Condren. It's great in here. All kind of packed up. And it's pretty, I mean, it's an Erin Condren, so it's a nice big thick planner. So I keep that in that part. And then the only other thing I have back there, I just had got some stickers at Michael's that I didn't put in my sticker book yet. So those are in there. 
and then I have an extra um, cover here and I just actually ordered a few more so I'll probably end up putting those in that front part also. So that's all that's in that part of the bag which is perfect. Then on to the big part. I'm going to kind of fold it down. Love the lining on this bag. It is so pretty. This teal kind of green color. So this is what the inside looks like. Give you guys a nice big view. Then sitting in the middle here, I have a 31 thermal. And the reason I'm using a thermal is because it's a nice kind of thicker bag and it keeps everything kind of structured in here. And what I have stored in this thermal are all of my washi tape. So I'll show you without me having to it all over. Oh, trying to avoid that. But so this is all my washi tape and kind of some other decorative type tapes that I have. And it's all stored in here. Then I also have just in the middle part of the bag here, this is a Jujube mesh shuttle and it was just the perfect size pouch to go in there with that big thermal. So that's why I'm kind of using this and I like how the green kind of matches the green of the bag. So in here, this is what I'm using for stuff that I use on a weekly or daily basis. So I have some scissors in here. I have a little notepads um, that I've been using a lot in my planner. I have a bunch of these page flags, my gator color ones and then I have just some of these other ones I haven't used yet. I've been using these for kind of bill for um, when I pay my bills so I just use them for a couple different things throughout my planner so those are stored in there. And then I also have um, my November kit from Pink Elephant Planning. I have some custom Erin Condren stickers that I had made um, for kind of people in my family and I'm a 31 consultant and so that's on there my mom's club so a couple stickers. I have my smiley face stickers, which I use for laundry indicator stickers and my weather stickers. And then these are just some miscellaneous calendar stickers that I have in here. And then I have a couple of these post-its also. So all that fits nicely in that little mesh shuttle. And then also in the middle of the bag here, I just have my sticker maker, my um, Zyron sticker maker. And that's everything on the inside. Now I want to kind of show you... Um, the sides of the bag. They're on this side, which I hope you can see in the camera. There's these elastic pouches that go kind of the whole width of the bag. I just have some Sharpies back there and then I have a bunch of these planner, um, these are headbands that I bought, but they kind of hold my planner together really, really well and I liked the colors a lot. So I have a couple of those hanging out back there for when I want to switch them out. And then on the other side of the bag here, there is a big mesh pocket which is great because it holds all those extras just in there so they're not flopping around inside the bag. So it's one long mesh pocket and inside that pocket I have my um, Stagler pens which I've been using. These are probably, these really are besides those Sharpies that I use to write on stickers are the only planner pens that I use. They're great. I love these. Can't say enough about those pens. So I have those in there. I have a couple just little gift tags in there from sending something. Um, I just kind of keep them accessible. I have some more stickers. I had gotten these out of my sticker book last week when I was planning because we're planning a vacation and there's some school stickers in here. My son had some stuff going on and then these are just fall and Halloween stickers. So those I need to put back in my sticker binder, but they're in here for now. Then I just have a couple notepads um, that I've been using just if I need to make a grocery store list or um, want to write something and attach it on the inside of my planner. This here is just a notepad of white paper if I need to, again, write something down. And then I just have three packs of note cards if I need to send in a note. Um, these are just thank you cards and then regular note cards. So um, those are just hanging out in there for me as well. So that is everything on the inside here of the um, True Beauty bag. I hope that gave you a good indicator as to what can fit in here, maybe another use for if you already have it. So if you have any questions or comments about it, feel free to um, leave them below. And if you liked the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks y'all for watching.